All right, hello. This is Libra, and welcome to Retiring in Riverside. Um, so at this point, I think I've pretty much uh, beaten Project Zomboid. Let's see, I've got... Let me check my notes here. Let's see, we've got 853.21 units of food. That is including random, like, cooking ingredients like yeast and baking soda and what else oh yeah flour vinegar that sort of stuff but all things considered I got a lot of food uh, so I, I did I did a little bit of math after adding up all the food numbers and I divided it all by 2.1 2.1 uh, units because I figured that's like three cans of food. That's like, no, 2.4 because that's 0.8 to 1.6 to 2.4 for three cans of food per day. That's uh, 355 days of food at least. And then we've got all my water coolers. So this is uh, eight water coolers total, or water dispensers rather. Uh, for 2,000 units of potential water. I don't have 2,000 units. Uh, a couple of these are empty, but it's going to be a while until I have to do the uh, big water run, which will probably be its own video. Um, let's see, for guns, I got a lot of guns. I counted, and I have... Let's see. Let me find it real quick. I have 59 long guns and 49 pistols. So uh, that's a that's a... A minimum of 49 dudes with a long gun and a sidearm and at least a couple clips of ammunition for both guns because I've got quite a bit of ammunition here yeah 21 boxes of 9 millimeter 37 boxes of shells 22 boxes of 0.44 magnum 21 boxes of 0.45 audio 14 audio Auto, 14 boxes of 0.223, 29 boxes of 0.308, 2 boxes of 5.56 millimeter. And yeah. I, I would go through all of the weapons that I have, but I, I just I just have a lot of weapons. Just trust me on this. Alright, so yeah, food and water taken care of. That's all you really need is the food and the water, and I've got that covered. And I live by the riverside or uh i'm riverside so to speak i'm like uh less than a mile north from the river so it'd be easy to grab water and yeah that's that's pretty much it this is uh this is after looting everything from west point i've looted two of the four main cities so i grabbed everything in west point all of the weapons uh this is this is my old base. This is small house. It's got uh, a few weapons still stashed there. Not much else. I took most of everything in two vehicles. Let's see. Yeah, I grabbed this uh, this here all-terrain uh, vehicle. I took this, and I had this Horizon, I believe it's called, in tow with me. And... Both these cars got very beat up on the way there, but we made it. So yeah, these two tar these two cars in tow all the way from West Point to here in Riverside. Uh, pretty dangerous trip. I think I think the most danger you'll encounter on a run in Project Zomboid is traveling, in my opinion. Because of the way uh, zombie distribution works, some parts of the streets are just absolutely littered with zombies. Let's see. Oh, and something to note is I've never done a water a water run in this run. I uh, I've only picked up water containers as I find them uh, while exploring. So given that I have high thirst, there really isn't a lot of water consumption going on here. And I think that stems from the fact that we don't need to like wash our clothes or anything. 
And I think one way you can fix that and make it so that people use more of their water, make it a more pressing issue, is to make it so you have to wash your clothes because you'll end up in a situation where if your clothes are too dirty, too bloody, too dirty, you slowly build up uh, sickness. You know, you start off queasy and you go from full-on fever after a while. I think that would help it. At the very least, it would make it so that uh, most uh, clothing is more useful because you, ha you have to have more sets of clothes so that you don't get sick from them being dirty. And it would it would drain your water supply so that you would have the water is a more urgent pressing issue because right now it's not it's not pressing at all. It's very easy to get water and keep water. Um, I suppose I should do a base tour, huh? So as you can see, I've set up in the commercial district of Riverside. We're on. Uh, where are we? Yeah, we control this block of businesses. You know, one, uh, two toy shops and two offices, I believe is what this used to be. Yeah, two shops, two offices. Or hold up, there's three here. Yeah, two shops, two offices, and a furniture store in the back where I'm just kind of storing all of my stuff. Uh, originally, I did not have this entire uh, area opened up like this, but I came to realize that it's kind of dangerous to leave walls unbroken so I broke down all of the walls between the different rooms because originally I only had these three sections all of the walls broken down but I broke down everything I can see across the entire base I can hear if a zombie starts banging on my door over here which I barricaded because there's no there's no defense outside of this side of the wall as you can see, I, I blocked off this area with some uh, level 3 walls right there. Let's see, there's my... Yeah, you can basically see the whole perimeter. It's not perfect, but I've, I've done a pretty decent job, I think. A lot of, a lot of stuff here is uh, barricaded. Uh, the doors leading to outside of my perimeter are barricaded and closed. As far as I know, at least. I better check those while I'm here, as a matter of fact. Yeah, that one's good. So yeah, I got that blocked off. What I want to do with these buildings on the opposite side is, like, I want to break down all the walls to this building, for instance, and turn it into a garage. That sounds like fun. We got our bookstore. I still gotta. That's gonna be my first mission after this video. Uh, spoiler alert: I'm not actually retiring in Riverside, as the video would suggest. But we're gonna take uh, all the books here, and we're going to uh, grab all the skill books in the game, or at least try to, because we've got the Enigma books here. We've got a bookstore here, and I've got another bookstore or uh, the UPS office that's uh, down the street that I can hit up that's got tons of books and then we've also got the school that we'll go to last and surely surely I'll find all the books maybe minus the gorilla the gorilla makeshift uh, device uh, books that I don't really care about yeah it's not the safest base in the world because it's a very populated area very populated but I'm next to all of the resources I have access to everything from this location in this uh, city pretty much but yeah this is my base it's pretty modest but it's mine so this is my first time building out a base like this uh, let's see my carpentry skills almost level 10 uh, just a little more to go uh, I'm sure I'll get there with more base building in the future there's still a lot of work to do. This isn't uh, finished by any means necessary. Um, let's see, what else? Oh yeah, I guess I should talk about looting Riverside. So, let's see. So I looted West Point and I took all the guns. But I've looted basically everything that I could from Riverside. Aside from this factory that I've yet to touch. I may come by, but I don't necessarily need the factory tools. I have plenty of tools. Uh, several sledgehammers. I'm good to go. Um, so this this gated community, 
This gated community is where you want to go for all your loot. That's for certain. Let me just go inside because I'm paranoid. Okay, so gated community is the best spot for loot. This is this is basically West Point condensed. Uh, all of these houses are like super nice. They're like upper middle class houses, maybe even higher class than that. Uh, yeah, I found six guns in one house. Uh, six guns plus a bat in another. It's this is where you want to go, for certain, especially if you're starting out here. Um, don't have much to say about the school. It's a school. It's got books. Um, the commercial district's all right. The commercial district is okay. Uh, it's got a good amount of loot there. Um, there's a, uh, a supermarket, a food market down here. It's got tons of food. Uh, all the houses are, these are pretty generic house, housing, like generic house loot that you're going to find here. The gated community has much better loot in comparison. Uh, and I also looted all the way down this road with uh, the dirt road with all these houses. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, my car got really beat up and I almost died a few times because of how thin and narrow these roads are. It's just narrow roads in trees. And the loot here in these houses, not worth it. Not worth going through all of that for just a little bit of loot. Uh, I, did, I did find the toilet paper house here. I've got over 400 rolls of toilet paper because it was a two-story house. Uh, this area right here uh, is totally destitute. This is uh, like like nobody nobody really lived here before the uh, before the pandemic struck the zombie virus. And yeah, there's not much to see here. There aren't even very many zombies in this area. Thought I heard something. And the factory is a neat looking location. But also, there's also, like, nothing there. And also, there's actually quite a few zombies here compared to the rest of this area. So it's a little dangerous. Um, let's see. I've got... I've actually got a little bitty base right here that I'm never going to use because I don't need to go out there. Uh, but it's there. And I uh, I think I left my, my other large backpack there. So I have to go back up there eventually. But I'll probably do that once I have decent mechanics leveling. Mechanics and uh, metalwork so I can work on my, my cars. Because my cars are pretty beat up aside from, let's see, I've got my sports car right here that's basically brand new. Uh, and I've got this all-terrain, which is a real trooper. All, this all-terrain, uh, what is it called? A vol voline? We're going to find out this car's name real quick. It's called a Franklin all-terrain. Yes, this is, this is a, a great vehicle. Had a great time with that. Uh, pulling the trailer is fun. Let's see. I'm going to pause it there. Hmm. What else? Let's see. I think I've pretty much covered everything. Not really a whole much to say about looting uh, Riverside. Let's see, I still got to hit up the factory, but I think I know exactly when I want to do that, and that's going to be during my metalworking grind, which is going to be my next video. Well, uh, it's going to be uh, gathering up all the books and the metalwork grind, so that's where I'm headed next. Um, as far as everything else, yeah, uh, I do plan on setting up a farm. I plan on grinding my, my skills out as much as I can. We're basically going to treat this game like RuneScape. You know, RuneScape where you could die instantly. It's like it's like a hardcore Iron Man RuneScape. Yeah. But I'm excited. Um, is there anything else I should talk about? Hmm. Hmm. Oh yeah, uh, one thing I did want to talk about was the fitness and strength grind. It's horrible. It's so long to achieve anything with the fitness and strength. So I started off with four fitness and five strength, and I worked my up my way up to level six and level five while living here in Riverside. And I gotta tell you, grinding that out it takes a long time, and it's it's very boring. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably do another, another strength, 
pretty soon. I don't know when. Because the grind, the grind legitimately takes like, like multiple in-game days, and it's it's like you got to manage all your moodles and stuff in the meantime. It's just a whole thing. It's like the the situation where people say, "Oh, I don't like smoking because it's another thing to manage," and it that managing the smoking becomes apparent when you're trying to do a, a long grind like fitness and strength. Um, so yeah, it's, it's not a bad run. This is my longest run, most zombies killed, most skilled character. Very excited to see where this goes. Uh, I also could die the next time I play the game, so, you know, it's a real toss-up. And I'm excited either way. I'm going to be very uh, upset once I finally die, but I'm very glad I made it to this point, made it far enough to make this video. I was going to be so disappointed if I got most of the way through uh, clearing out Riverside and then I got bitten somehow. Um, probably shouldn't have eaten that chocolate. I'm going to be overweight soon. That's okay, though. Not a, not a hard problem to fix, being overweight. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll uh, I guess I'll call it here, and I'll see you guys in my skill book video where I grab all the skill books. Um. Yep, yep, gonna call it there. Um, I'll see you guys later. I'm probably gonna put out a Rivals video before I get the Skillbooks video out, but I will see you guys later. Uh, later, bye.